All right, guys. What do we got here? First player, Steampunk Light, MK5, RGB, retro, typewriter style keyboard. <clears throat> what do I think about it? Well, let's get into that. So far, I've been using it for a little bit now, to be honest, and I actually really like the feel of it. Uh, not really my style as far as look goes, but the feel of it, the usability of it, the lights, everything, it's, uh, it's really nice. The only thing that I didn't really care for was the red cord. I don't. Uh, it's just a per, you know personal thing. Some of you probably like it. I don't know. It just. I wish it was black personally. Uh, other than that, though, really nice keyboard. This has blue Altimo switches. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm sorry if I am, but that's what I'm gonna say. Altimo. So it has blue ones in there, and they are removable and replaceable. They actually sent five extra keys, switches, with the keyboard and a puller of the cap and a puller of the switch itself. So that was actually really nice of them to do, I thought. Um, as I said this, as you can probably see, this is RGB and it has ten different modes. Let me check the booklet here. Uh, static, gaming, reactive, wave, multicolored marquee, ripple, touch and go, multicolor wave, breathing, and neon. There's also, uh, you can just turn them off if you want to. You can adjust the brightness and the speed, like right now it's going in the kind of a wave pattern. You could speed that up, slow it down if you wanted to. Uh, I did play with a lot of the effects. I think that they all work really well. There was a few of them that, you know, I, I don't know. They weren't my style, but I can see that some people might like them. The only thing that I really like is that you can see all the letters on the keycaps. The other keyboards that I have that are backlit, you can't see the keys when you're gaming at night. My wife doesn't like for me to have the lights on at night when she's trying to watch TV, so I game in the dark and having these lit up like this is really nice for me because I'm a hunter and picker. So it makes my life a lot easier when I'm trying to type something at nighttime with the lights off. The other thing I wanted to say was that it does have the bottom legs here that you can flip out to get that extra angle on the keyboard if you want to. Uh, I don't usually use those but they are there if you want to use them. Just a little bit of a closer look, hopefully you can see this, and it's not completely blurry, but it's really nice, if you can't see it, it is, it's a really nice keyboard, it's got some weight to it, I kind of expected it to be a lot lighter to be honest with you, uh, but it's actually got some weight, I'm assuming that the frame of it is probably aluminum. <clears throat> The, right now it's on Amazon for $59.99. It does look like that's the sale price though. I think the regular price is $99.99. You can also get this keyboard in a red switch variant. I just happened to get the blue switch. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think I'm probably going to swap out my regular keyboard for this one just because I can see it at night. Um, if my other keyboard you know, if I could see it at night, I'd, I don't know, I'd probably keep it. But I like the fact that I can see the keys at night on this one. So I'm probably going to stick with this one, even though it does have the red cord. I think I could probably do something about that myself. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's this first player Steampunk Lite MK5 keyboard. Altimo Blue Switches, $59.99 on Amazon. Go get them, a, you know, go check it out. If you're looking for a new keyboard on a budget, can't beat it, man. It's a great little keyboard. Thanks for watching.